I can make the face cam bigger and smaller and move it around wherever I want to. Yo, what's up guys, Runic here, welcome back to another episode of our journey of the Viking, or whatever, <laughs> dude, my, a Viking's journey, wasn't it? Oh my, oh my god, it's, it's been a while since my last episode, I completely forgot. Uh, but I have been mining a little bit off camera, and I have been uh, building the next build in creative, uh, not here, but in my creative world, which we are going to build today in a speed lapse. But first, I kind of want to show you guys some updates. I've been mining a little bit, as you can see here, I have 30 diamond ore, which I got with the silk touch pickaxe. You can see I've used it a lot for my for the main mining part, and then I have this uh, for mining a few things, uh, like a bit of coal and some diamonds. Uh, I've actually been enchanting also, as you can probably tell my inventory but we are going to uh, first mine these ores um, I have already mined a few of them so I could have those diamond tools but let me just uh, place these down like that keep going I wonder how much diamonds we're gonna get from this so it actually didn't take me very long getting these I don't know if I don't know if diamonds are more common in Mesa but gold is definitely more uh, common in Mesa as it seems uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and mine it with the fortune. I'm guessing we're gonna end up with 60 or 72. So let's see if I'm correct. That's like an average of 3-ish or something like that, or 2.5, I, I guess. It's already looking pretty good, I think. 39, maybe not, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Oh. Oh, wow, that's actually better. 75 diamonds. Oh, that's insane, actually. Holy crap. But yeah, I have some gold here, um, and you're probably wondering where where on earth did I get all these enchantments? Uh, I'm going to go to the place right now, actually, and then after that, we're probably going to start with the speed lapse. I, I haven't spawned in a guy with a quest yet. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do this uh, do that for this episode. I've been kind of busy lately, uh, which is why I haven't uploaded much of this series. And also, I already... F <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys, I already feel like... Um, like, what do I do next? I don't know, it's a weird thing, because there's so much you can do in Minecraft, but it, it's such... It's like a thing that's been, you know, kind of annoying me uh, a bit. When it comes to survival, there isn't really too much new things you can do. I mean, prob there probably is, but most of them I don't feel like are very fun to watch, uh, and they aren't really very fun for me to do. For, for instance, if I wanted to make like a witch farm, I'd have to light up the whole caves around here and all that stuff. But yeah, this is the skeleton farm. I, al I also made some more, um, I, I made a enchantment table. Like you can see I've been enchanting bows here to get the enchantments. Got some bones in here and you know, all the bows are on the ground there. But yeah, so I have I have gotten a uh, diamond pickaxe with efficiency four and breaking three and fortune three. That was actually for mining quartz in the nether and then I enchanted a pickaxe. And then I mined the diamonds, uh, like a few of the 30 I had, and then uh, I made this axe right here. The shovel, it's a perfect shovel, uh, and a perfect sword. This sword is insane. And I've used this sword a little bit for, you know, just kind of swipe, swiping them. They they do only require a few punches, but I don't know, I feel like it's easier just to use the sword so you can have the swipe attack or whatever, so. But yeah, uh, that is pretty much it for that let's go ahead and run back real quick and uh i will show you guys how much nether quartz i've been mining <laughs> how would you look at that the beautiful building that we built last episode it's like it's a while ago I i'm really sorry about that guys it's just i i feel like i have an issue when it comes to some sort of types of series where i just can't do them very often i know i said i would do them like two or three times a week but i already feel like i can probably just do one per week but I have been kind of busy this weekend though, because I've been helping Craner with some stuff, um, making his thumbnails of course, um, and let's see, where is it? Here's some books I just enchanted to get uh, a new enchantment, I don't know why I did that and I didn't craft like a new, a new sword or whatever. But yeah, we have some nether quartz in here as you, <coughs> as you can see, wow, got something in my throat. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half stack and plus these, uh, which I actually didn't have fortune for, so that's actually really insane how much I've been mining. <laughs> Look at that, that's like one, two, three, that's uh... Is it eight here? Or is it, six, or is it, uh, blah, 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 or is it nine? Jesus. Yeah, it's nine, so nine stacks, almost uh... Almost 18 stacks, yeah. Um... So... 
I think what we're going to do is we're gonna say that the building that I'm building, we want to build the farm today. So I'm gonna say the requirements for that, uh, for the quest. Let's just pretend, pretend. Oh, I, sp I spat on myself. Let's pretend Bjorn gives us a book because I have I haven't made the command for it yet. But let's pretend he gives us a book and he says, um, "Gather ten stacks of logs, and I don't know, uh, five stacks of." Uh, Five stacks of uh, stone and maybe like ten diamonds or something like that, and we're gonna build the farming creator after we've done that. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to head over to this uh, forest over here. Um, so what we'll do is collect ten stacks of woods, and I already have some stone from my mining expedition. Let's uh, go ahead and do that real quick. I might, I may or may not do a speed lapse. So, enjoy or don't enjoy, I guess. Alright, so a quick little update, uh, by the way guys, I, I kind of just wanted to mention this real quick, I have been uh, doing some more stuff with my face cam, um, uh, basically I have the my face cam and then I have the overlay in the same thing uh, and the green screen behind it in OBS. Um, I record with OBS Studio and I record my face cam with uh, OBS, the normal um, thing, I guess. Uh, so on that I have my face cam, the overlay, and the green screen behind it, so I can just uh, chroma key it out, if you know what that means. So basically remove the green screen and I can add it to wherever I want. So I can do a lot of cool things with my face cam. Uh, but basically what that means is, uh, you probably already noticed it if you've seen this episode or uh, watched the episode. <laughs> and if you didn't, then you wouldn't hear this, so I guess that's a dumb, dumb thing to say. But anyway... Pretty much what I can do is I can make the face cam bigger and smaller and move it around wherever I want to. So I usually do that when I say something with a lot of like, uh, I guess a lot of energy in it or like if it's a loud noise like, oh, you see there, I, I zoomed in. <laughs> okay, let me do it again. Um, oh my God, a tree, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that I can zoom in. And also I can, I guess I'll try and uh, move my face cam around a little bit just to show you guys. So I can do a lot of stuff with that, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Do you guys don't like that? Because it is a lot of more editing for me, but I feel like I want to do some more editing because honestly what I do isn't doesn't really require much editing. Well, I guess a little bit, uh, but still, I don't know. I kind of want to edit some more and, uh, you know, put some more quality in my videos. I don't know if you guys think that's quality though, though but uh, let me know. Let me know if you think it's annoying. Let me know if I should reduce the amount of times I do it. I don't think I'll do it too much in every episode. It's mainly when there's something special or, you know, I make a loud noise or get scared or get jump scared by something and all that kind of things. But uh, yeah, let me, let, me, let me know and uh, yeah, that would be really appreciated. All right, so it seems like we have the wood we need. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stacks of wood. Yeah, that should be enough. So, yeah, a lot of uh, seeds or not seeds, but uh, um, I kind of want to pick up the saplings. Let's throw away the coal just to get some of them in case we need to replant stuff eventually. Because I've been cutting down a lot of trees, as you can probably tell, uh, as you could probably tell from the speed laps. Uh, yeah, pick up this as well. There we go. Yeah, so it's turning night again. So that took approximately like 10 to 12 minutes. I don't know how long the Minecraft day is, but like 14 minutes or something. I am not too sure, but our house is that way. Uh, so I'm going to run back and I'm going to prepare uh, the speed lapse. So what you're going to see in the next uh, second is the speed lapse. What I'm going to do off camera, of course, is to throw away all the wood into lava or something uh, for the payment for the building and some stone. Um, and then... I log on to my creator world, uh, and just you know, I have to look at the building to build it because it, I don't know it off by heart, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna get that all set up, and you, will, I'll see you in the speed lapse.
Too. All right, guys, that took quite a bit of time actually, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the speed lapse. And uh, yeah, th this is my. Uh, I said it was a farm, but I'm. Uh, I think I'll just call it a, f a, a barn or a uh, <laughs> what's it called horse stable thing. I guess it's called just a stable. But yeah, so I'm in creative right now just to fly by and show you guys the finished product. But I'm really happy with it. Um, I don't know what you guys think think about it. At first, it was actually a blacksmith, <laughs> believe it or not. It didn't look completely like this. It had a bunch of different things inside. And it wasn't this big and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I found it on my creative world, and I thought it looked more like a barn, so I or a farm, um, stable. Dude, I can't talk. Uh, but yeah, now uh, it looks more like a a stable, which I'm happy with. So one thing I guess I can fix right now is. Um, some mossy stone, I forgot about that. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I really hope you guys enjoyed the speed lapse. It took uh, it's quite a bit of time to edit, and uh, I had a bunch of different angles, so I would have to like cut out parts where I move around and uh, you know speed it up and all that stuff. But but yeah, I um, let me guys let, let me guys let me know what you guys think about the speed lapse because. Uh, I spent a lot of time on it. Well, not too much. It wasn't like it wasn't more than like I don't know, 20, 25 minutes. But <laughs> for me, that's kind of a lot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there we go. So by the way, this is um, not uh, clay. This is uh, the co concrete. But yeah, so I paid 10 stacks of woods and like six stacks of stone and 11 diamonds. Uh, actually, 11 <laughs> for some reason. I just threw it out of my inventory. Um, so I hope you guys are cool with that. Obviously the prices will be different for each build. This one I only spent like five stacks of wood and a bunch of stuff on, even though it looks bigger than this one. Uh, but I thought as the series go and uh, we progress, it's gonna be more expensive for us. So yeah, now we have a really cool stable. I'm really happy with it. So we're gonna connect this up with the roads eventually. I don't know how I'll do it with the hay coming out here. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be uh, Taming some horses. Hopefully I can find that maybe next episode. We'll probably go around looking for a horse while we look for like, you know, I don't know, a d dungeon or something. I don't know if there's anything special out here. Maybe a village, actually. That could be cool. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Peace.